Hey, what's going on guys? How are you doing today? So it seems like we got a bit of a leak and before I show you the actual image, just know that these are possible spoilers if this is legit. I don't know if it is, but it seems like it might be. So three, two, one. Okay, so this is a concept art photo with we got three photos here that apparently are things that were drawn which are created on the set of Kenobi that people who are working on the set apparently have confirmed that this is actually uh, what's going on in the show. I almost said film because it feels like it's going to be a six hour film but um, this looks like a picture um, of Anakin of Vader outside of the suit and it actually looks like Hayden Christensen sort of as much as we can see with the mask on. Now, this is canonically incorrect. This needs to be cut a little higher, but I'm nitpicking. It's whatever. It's just concept art just to give you an idea of what's going on, I'm sure. And then the people who are in charge of everything probably made it accurate, you know, canonically accurate. So what are we getting here? We're getting Hayden. We're getting Anakin. We're getting Vader in his back to tank, outside of the suit, possibly post a big battle and he's being taken care of. Or he's just going over, uh, he's going under his regular suit maintenance. So if you didn't know, if you go check out the Dark Horse Vader comics, um, you read some of the, the old Vader novels, Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader, all this, this stuff, it goes into great detail or detail about how much suit maintenance Vader had to go under and how unbelievably painful his life was. So... That's also exemplified, I think, with these Sith eyes right here. I think if these eyes were not Sith and they were blue, he'd probably die just like he did in Return of the Jedi when he let go. Now, in Revenge of the Sith, he was still wavering back and forth between being, you know, a full-time Sith and, you know, being Anakin Skywalker. Like when he was talking to um, Padme, when he was fighting Obi-Wan, he still seemed like he was conflicted. He wasn't fully um, into the dark side with the Sith eyes. Palpatine would have, you know, all the time, let's say. Now, <clears throat> I think, you know, Sith eyes, in my opinion, are kind of like when you turn Super Saiyan. And uh, him having that all the time just shows that now this is, you know, this is fully Vader. This is 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. And what I want to see is the side of Vader that we haven't really seen all that much in the movies, just more so in the books and comics, where we see how pathetic, how sad, how useless, how weak he actually really is. Because a lot of fans, you know, aside from the, the hardcore fans, don't really know that Vader is this pathetic dude. Um, you know, outside of the suit, he is just this... And, and I love how this guy posts a, a picture of this because he is this pathetic dude who needs droids to survive. He, he cannot survive without them. And so... Like this tube, for example, this goes from his mouth all the way down his trachea. All of these parts are keeping him alive. They're allowing him to function. These tubes are what cleans him up and, and gives him food. And like he doesn't eat like a normal human. He gets food put into him through like tubes of goo, like nutrients. Um, when he goes to the bathroom, he <laughs> goes in his suit. Like he's got a diaper in his suit and the waste goes in there and that's that's how it all happens. Like, this isn't a happy dude. This isn't a dude living a comfortable life. This is a very tormented, very sad, very depressed, very angry person now. And again, I see that with the eyes being probably permanently now in the Sith color, the orange, the yellow, the red. I really hope they drive home the idea of Anakin not really being Anakin anymore, this boy that was on Tatooine that was saved as a slave and wanted to come back and free all of the slaves, including his mother, is now this tormented being that is just this unfortunate tragedy. And I think if this picture is real, we're about to get that. We're about to see the droids come to his aid because in the comics, he had to go under so much suit maintenance. It was unbelievable. He had to be scrubbed of necrotic flesh because his flesh was always just dying off. It was burnt, right? Um, there were constant suit maintenance things that were going on where he would go into his mind, and I wonder if they'll show this, while he was undergoing the pain without any sort of anesthetic or any sort of you know pain reliever or anything, pain killer pills, he was imagining his life as Anakin with Padme. That's where he would escape to when they were working on his body. And I wonder if we're going to see a dream sequence like that 
where he's just thinking all of that. I mean, imagine if it starts off with like Anakin and Padme in present day with their kids and it would show, you know, just one kid because he doesn't know he had twins. And we're like, what the hell is going on here? And then all of a sudden, wow, that would be amazing. And then all of a sudden it's just boom, snaps out of it and you see what has become of him. You know, it, I think that would be something that would be pretty jarring and give you the major stark contrast between the Anakin that could have been and the Anakin that is now, which is almost no more. And I, I don't like when people say that uh, Anakin Skywalker died, blah, blah, blah. He never really died. There was always like a sliver. Like, you know how Wolverine can pretty much um, regenerate himself with a single drop of blood? It's like that's there was that little drop of Anakin that was still in there. And had he fully let that go, uh, I don't know, he would have been even more powerful, but um, he never would have been redeemed. So, it's actually interesting. I never really thought of that. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have to make a video about that. Who knows? Um, let me know what you guys think about that. I was never actually thought of that idea. So, my question here is, did he just come out of a big battle? Is he going into battle and he's preparing, he's tuning himself up? Um, or is this just regular suit maintenance that he's going through? As we can see, it looks a lot like Hayden. And I'd love to see more of his face if they take the mask off, but it's very hard for him to breathe without it. That being said, if he just uses the Force to breathe, which he has done in the comics, uh, in the books, he could do that. So he doesn't really require it. It just limits him from using the force for other things such as you know enhancing his movements or you know using the force to choke someone or grab something or, or whatever but that being said i think this is just going to be one of many scenes that we'll see of anakin of vader um outside of the suit and maybe being put together um in rogue one we got a little bit of a tease and it was it was all right. It was great. It was cool. But it's like, you know, show us a little more, you know, show us a little more in depth of really the process that is Vader. And I think they're going to nail that in this one. I think they're going to drive it home and allow us to see just how pathetic and weak he really is. This next image is of a back to tank self-explanatory. I'm wondering, is it just regular maintenance? Did he go in some big war? Did he have a big fight? Is this after the fight with Kenobi, which I still don't know how they're going to do unless it's a dream sequence. What is going on here? You know, is this, he's just chilling in there, Polynesian spa style. Mask, this is a back to tank mask or it's just his breathing mask, but <clears throat> most likely back to tank mask. So um, my thoughts are he probably just got out of there or he's about to go in. Love how this dude posts this. Shout out to this guy. Shout out to that guy. Thanks, man. So, yeah, this is a scene I always wanted to see, and that's why um, I put it in there. Because I think driving home the idea that Anakin Skywalker is this pathetic being, and or Vader is this pathetic being, as George has even said. Shout out to Paul Duncan's uh, Star Wars Archives books. Really gives you a different idea of who Vader really is. That he's not just this unbelievably powerful, you know, OP dude who just you know, goes over the galaxy and does whatever he wants. But he's actually this very sad and very unfortunate story and tragedy of Anakin Skywalker um, being type of thing. And I think that a scene like this would really drive that idea home. That being said, that's pretty much all I want to mention here from these concept arts. If they are legit, great, cool. I think the show will be um, a huge success. And I think... Um, it's going to be something that will really be special for a lot of us fans. Prepare to be surprised for what's to come, because I think it's going to be the biggest show, the biggest Star Wars anything that has happened since uh, 2012. So, love you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, may the Force be with you.